Bible says that the wages of sin is death. So here was Adam and Eve dead on the inside to the knowledge of God because they had disobeyed. Now, here came this noise in the garden, you know. It was, it was the Lord walking in the cool of the, the noon. He always visited with Adam and Eve. Wouldn't that be out of sight? Walk with God. Eat the fruits of the trees in the garden. Trip around with the animals, you know. <laughs> the skunks wouldn't spray you and the animals. <laughs> the lions wouldn't eat you. Yeah. And here, here comes the Lord walking in the garden. And man, they, they realized they were naked. So they ran and they hid themselves in the bushes and they started sowing leaves together real quick. <laughs> so they got a string of leaves around here and she put hers on, you know. <laughs> and you know what? The works of their hands weren't good enough because it didn't cover their nakedness. God had to kill two animals to give them skins to cover their nakedness. And if you think that you're going to cover your own sin by your works, you're sadly mistaken. You can sew those leaves together as much as you want, but they still won't cover enough. And you'll still be ashamed. In fact, those were the first things that died there in, in the Genesis, first things that really died. In the, that these animals, God killed them and took the, the skins and, and he gave them to man and woman to cover their nakedness. And so the Bible says, without the shedding of blood is there no remission of sin. Without the shedding of blood is there no remission of sin. Jesus Christ willingly went to the cross And he died. He gave his life. He says, no man takes my life from me. I lay it down. And at that time, Jesus Christ became a sin sacrifice for you. And you and all of us here tonight. And God separated himself. And he received your sins upon him. And he died for you. Do you hear the Lord speaking to your hearts tonight? The Holy Spirit's moving all across this congregation, outside, inside, all around. He's beckoning people to come. He's saying, come. Though your sin is the blackest sin in the whole world, though you even killed somebody or you broke up a family, you did anything, all that has been accounted for by my son, Jesus Christ. So. Don't reject him now as he speaks to your heart. Jesus is outside of you because Jesus and God isn't in every man. That's a lie of Satan. That's the same old trip he was trying to lay on Adam and Eve. You got it all in you. All you have to do is partake of this fruit and you'll have a God conscience. Jesus said, if you will confess me before men, I'll confess you before the Father which is in heaven. I want you to confess him. I want you to receive him. It's hard, but it's going to get harder. It's going to get harder because darkness is coming more and more and more. I want you to stand up and receive Christ, those of you that haven't received him yet, to stand to your feet to receive him. And I'm going to ask you to come up on the stage right now, and we're going to sing, I need thee, oh, I need thee. I just want you to come forward. And if you haven't stood to receive Christ, come on up here and receive him right in front of us right now. I need thee, oh.
Hey.